Hey everybody, welcome back to Callus Kinda Sorta Plays A Draft Tour. I did this with Emerald Open a couple years ago, and enough people seem to like it, so I am going to show off another draft tour that I kinda sorta played. And by that, I mean the same thing as last time, in that I both drafted the team and built the teams, but as far as actually playing, I left that to my avatar, Jabba the Griffin. So, on the screen right now is the team that we drafted, which, for all intents and purposes, is a six-mon draft, which is what I prefer in the Emerald Open format. Uh, we can get into Emerald Open strategy in another video if people really care enough, but I think that the seat that you're in matters a lot. Like, I think if you're picking first, second, third, you should always, always, always go for a six draft. Whereas if you're picking near the back end, 7th, 8th, whatever, it might be better to have like a core 4, core 5, and then have some rotational pieces. I don't remember exactly where Jabba was picking in this. Somewhere in the middle or the back, 5th or 6th maybe. And I recall at the time that I think Snorlax was not my first choice, but I might be confusing this with other drafts that I've done with Jabba, but... Ultimately, we took Lax first, and uh, I'm not going to be able to go over the draft because we we were doing it over the course of days via text, and there's just no... I don't remember it well enough, and it's very much like him just sending me a screenshot. Okay, here's what was taken. Here's what's still available. What do you want to do? We would discuss it, and I would make a pick, and that's how we ended up here. But this is the team. Uh, I think that it is good but not great, but... I mean, I'm just confident in my draft ability as a whole, so even though this isn't, like, the best team that I've ever drafted, it's still definitely good, and I still think I can get wins with it. And like I said, uh, just as a non-spoiler spoiler, the Torkoal and the War Turtle did not get played at any point throughout this entire run. Uh, the other thing to know about this tournament, the Hoenn Classic, which is a... it's a pun because it's it's... The word classic, but it's hosted by a guy named Kaz, so it's the classic, whatever. Uh, it also has Gen 6 and Gen 7 draft in it, which is fine, but I had no part in that. I only drafted and built for the ADV. And like I said, this is our team. So, uh, the very first matchup we had was against this dude named Papoon, who I have... Never heard of prior to this, but you could take a look at his team here, which is actually pretty damn good, I would say, by draft standards. Uh, Raikou, Hariyama, D Knight are all rock solid. Registeel that late is a is a crime, is a steal. Don fan, I had an emerald open that one time two years ago and was kind of underwhelmed with it. But like, if you think a spinner is important, it's fine, I guess. It, it just does kind of does nothing a lot of the time, but. Unlike some of the other spinners, at least Donphan has, like, a decent attack stat and can punch through. So you can just, like, make it an offensive Donphan or, hell, even a CB Donphan in the right matchup. But it's still, it just, against, like, Skarmory or Weezing, pokes like that, it does actual, actual, actual fucking nothing. It's worthless. And then, yeah, Dodrio and Ludicolo, fine fillers. Overall, this is a solid draft team that our opponent has. So let me go over the team that I made for Jabba and why, and then we can check out the replay. So here is the team that I ended up with, and honestly, I don't fully remember why, which is why I pulled up the, the notes that I took for Jabba in Discord. We're going to go over that in a second. We can kind of refresh ourselves together. But first, take a peek at the team. Leading with Gyarados here. Got this cool Curse Protect Body Slam Lax. Hypno Milo. Reversal Salic Metacham. This Reggie here with some attacks plus Toxic. And Subseed Septile. Now, just got to refresh myself on why. And I'm pretty detailed, as you can see. When I give Jabba 
the notes for these things. I am pretty thorough in my preparation process. So let's see what I had to say here. Sue, two core concepts in mind. Uh, the only two things on the other side that can ever survive Metacham 1 HP reversal are the Dawn Fan and the Dragonite. Therefore, I loaded up the whole team to chip or punish those Mons and put them in range so we can kill with a reversal. There's two distinct ways the match could play out, entirely depending on whether or not his knight has Bell. Therefore, I made sure to give every Mon on the team a meaningful way to punish the Dragonite on Bell turns so it's never free. So let's go back to that. HP Flying, Boosted Body Slams, Ice Beam, Rock Slide, Rock Slide, HP Ice, every single thing here targeting the Dragonite, not giving the Dragonite if he's going to bring Bell, never free, never easy. Going to make him pay every single time he thinks about clicking Bell. All right, so uh, Gyarados, I made it so it outspeeds Raikou at plus one. Simple as that. So those that's the speed investment. You click DD once, you get ahead of it. Uh, threatens Yama and Registeel. Be aware of Wave. Uh, Gyarados does Dog Poo to Dawn Fan. I guess I considered Surf, but yep, we went with uh, Toxic in various places because it's the only meaningful thing I could think of to hit the Dawn Fan that otherwise walls us. Uh, if the Knight doesn't have Bell, that's fantastic. But if it does have Bell, like we just discussed, we're going to load up on it. And I reminded him to watch for T-Bolt, apparently. And then we discussed leads, knockoff, so on and so forth. Okay, uh, Snorlax. I've got him built to counter the Raikou, and I really went hard with that. I went max special defense with a plus special defense nature, and I went protect, and I went earthquake. So we are fully, hardcore, devoted to dealing with the Raikou. Because it needs to be. Because none of this other stuff deals with the Raikou. Uh, Gyarados, obviously, if I'm at plus one, does. But if I'm not at plus one, I lose. And I'm not switching into it, obviously. Likewise, my Lotic, Metacham, Regirock. None of that is switching into Raikou. Sceptile, like, can switch into Thunderbolt. But if Raikou is at plus one, or behind a sub, or whatever... Sceptile is not going to be the answer either. So Lax is really the only thing that is remotely safe and reliable against Raikou, so it needs to be really, really good at what it does. So I think HP-wise, I simply had it hit a leftovers number uh, because it is going to be, as we know, a sandless game. I loaded up max special defense and gave it protect and EQ because we are devoted to having this Lax counter the Raikou. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, I did not give the Milo Surf because why should it have Surf? Where is Surf good in this matchup? It's only the Dawn Fan. Everything else Ice Beam is just as good or better, and the Ice Beam would hurt the Dawn Fan as well. There's just no point of Surf as I mentioned here. I also gave Hypno as I mentioned here, because otherwise the Registeel could sit on the Milo forever, so Hypnosis gives us a way to break that stalemate. Uh, the Metacham, like I said, kills everything other than the Dawn Fan and the Dragonite. Uh, we talked about covering Quick Attack, and then going over to Regirock here. Uh, going over to Regirock here, it's the same deal. It doesn't do anything to Dawn Fan other than Boom on it. Therefore, we're just going to have Toxic. Same concept as with the Gyarados. So if he doesn't have Bell, great. We land the Toxic. That'll be good enough. If he does have Bell, we came prepared for that. Uh, as far as Sceptile, I made a point to make it faster than Raikou. And once again, I want to make sure that I get the Toxic off before you can substitute and block it. And that is pretty much the notes on the team. Like I said, very thorough in my notes for Java. This is what I told him. One more time on the team. All right. And finally, the game. How it all actually played out. And boy, has it been a minute. This took place on May 6th, and I am narrating this video at the end of July. So, been a minute. Probably going to be watching along with you rather than doing too much narrating, but let's watch.
dragon dancing on the looty. I mean, seems fine, right? Even if he has HP electric, it doesn't kill us. Or thunder punch. I forgot that he learned that. Fair enough. But we're faster now. So out of the way he's going to go. EQ there. Perhaps thinking Reggie would come in. Toxic Undawn fan is good. Rock Tomb, we're going to awkwardly survive at 1%, but we should still be faster than Dawn Fan even after the speed drop, so that's cool. Not going to give up the Gyra for free, which I think is wise. My Lotic is invincible against the Dawn Fan. There's just nothing we care about. There comes Ludi. I agree with taking a stab at the Hypnosis there. Didn't hit it, but there's no reason not to try. Ice Beam here does not pop the sub, so tragic day, but... Ultimately, I'm not that worried about the Ludicolo. It's obnoxious, especially with Leech Seed against our big, fat, special wall and lax. But I'm not too worried about the Ludicolo. Not sure why Java went back to Gyra here. It could just be to get some quick lefties. But yeah, I mean, you'll see if it starts Thunder Punching us. That isn't going to do much. So he really actually just needs a Grass Attack that we know he doesn't have. This is a weird set. Sub, Thunder Punch, Leech Seed, Ice Beam. Stab HP Grass would do something to us, but the Thunder Punch against Milo, underwhelming. Like I said, Leech Seed, real annoying against Lax, but can never actually kill the Lax. I think Jabba is just stalling him out of Leech Seed, which is kind of slow, boring gameplay, but it's the right play, and we're really not in any danger here, and like I said... 30% from Thunder Punch is whatever, and this is in a sandless game as well. That para a little bit obnoxious since we are non-rest and non-refresh lax, so what are you going to do? Not the biggest deal on lax, but still just a 10% added effect, kind of annoying, is what it is. Surprised he switched out there and didn't stick with it. I mean, we were bound to full para eventually, but fair enough. End up with Lax here, which we're just not too worried against the Dawn fan. Earthquake 31 is like more than nothing, and Java is playing it a little bit fast and loose here. But the Dawn fan is on a clock, so if he doesn't crit us, he's pretty boned. And the reason that we're faster there is our opponent must have gone for Roar on that turn, which obviously didn't end up happening. And now the Registeel here is trying to S-toss us down. You guys already know that we have Earthquake, so that's a threat. Uh, that critical hit is obviously going to pop right through the Iron Defense, so that kind of mattered. That was obnoxious for our opponent. Leech Seed there and Body Slam there. That's a kill at plus two. The Lax has been very, very good at avoiding full para. But Jabba, I think, is trying to throw here by staying in because he's begging for the Raikou to find a full para, and all of a sudden we're in trouble, so definitely don't like that initial stay in. I do agree with switching here. You've got to do it. Protect there. Just going to see the bad news. Yes, we do have EQ. Now, granted, PP is a very limiting factor here because we're against a pressure mon that apparently has both protect and substitute, but he also showed t waves. so that means he only has one attack. And I guess that one attack is Thunderbolts. This is a weird set for Raikou. We sub on him here and block T-Wave, which risky because we wouldn't be able to toxic him had he gone for sub there. But Jabba did correctly anticipate the wave, so we go with a sub and block it. And now we get a Leech Seed going, which keeps us pretty safe. And I think our opponent is largely in trouble here. Does go to Dodrio, which in theory is good against Sceptile, but we're behind a sub and we've got Regi or Regice, HP Ice rather, with a faster, well, used to be faster Sceptile. He goes for agility here, and like try attack is a weird choice. Don't want to just go with return. I don't know, man. Like I said, no clue who Papoon is, I assume a newer or more casual player. His play is not blowing me away or making me think that he's a super serious or super experienced player, but who knows? Can't always tell by one game. But either way, I think Java is pretty comfortable in this position. Here comes Yama. Vaguely annoying when our Gyarados is so low, but should be able to handle it with the combined might of what we have left. This Raikou we know doesn't have rest or anything to do. 
Here comes Milo. Gyro with the Intimidate. Well, that's one way to lose if he gets us with Belly Drum. But fortunately, we do have multiple things, including, you know, the Gyra that are simply faster than it. Very weirdly for someone who I don't think built or played all that well, Papoon is complaining a bit in the battle chat, which kind of a bad look when you're, you know, not good at the game, but do whatever you want to do. But either way, this one, kind of a stomp. We don't even have to show our last poke, not that it was ever going to be the the Torkoal or the War Turtle. He obviously knows that's Metacham, but... Metacham was kind of like our main win condition. Metacham or Lax, I guess. So the fact that we didn't even have to show it kind of illustrates how much of a beating this game was. So this was our opener. W, George W. Bush for Jabba. And we'll move on to the next game in the next video. But if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more draft content in general from yours truly, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching.